For your dough, you will need some spelt flour. Now, depending on your dish, this is more or less, obviously, but I used about one and a half cups. Then some baking powder, um, about a teaspoon. I added some flaxseed and then some salt, some pepper, three tablespoons of olive oil. And then just mix this all together until I could roll it out like a dough. Then I oiled my pan with some olive oil and I spread out my dough. I cut up all of my courgettes. Conveniently, I have a yellow and a green courgette plant in my garden, which just makes for really nice um, aesthetics later, as you'll see. But I also used some parsley and... Yeah, that's it for the veggie part. I then blended up my sauce and here you will need a cup of cashews that was soaked overnight or for at least four hours. And I added that to my blender as well as some yeast flakes. Just, I used a tablespoon but you can do more or less depending on how like yeasty you like it. I added a tablespoon of white vinegar, uh, some salt and some parsley in there as well. And then blended it all up until it was nice and creamy. You can just vary your liquid as well. If it's too dry, just add a little bit of water. If it's not uh, liquid, in, if it's not dry enough, maybe add a few more cashews. You can just, you know, play around with this. And then we are filling up our dish with the sauce, layering in all your courgettes brushed a bit of olive oil over all my crochets. Then I put it in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes and that was it. Obviously here you have to check as well because if you have a bigger dish you will need to ha to bake it for longer. Um, but yeah, I was genuinely so happy with how this turned out because this is the first time that I made this properly like in this kind of dish. We are ready for a little taste test and I'm gonna tuck in Actually, this is probably still very hot. This is so good. And it looks super nice as well. Like, you can definitely serve this for guests. Like, it is, it is well nice. Um, I am giving this recipe a... 9... A 9 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, please um give it a like and let me know in the comments um i hope you've been following this series because it's really cool it's like a month full of um vegan sugar-free recipes and basically you can post your pictures um if you recreate anything on instagram twitter wherever with this hashtag you can share our experience with all the different recipes and maybe you have like some um, modifications that are really cool and that I would like to try as well. So yeah, definitely let me know. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye!